going on guys? CJR here with another pickups video. Um, last week I didn't, I wasn't able to get anything garage selling. I only went to about five sales. I had uh, a wedding to go to and then um, the next couple weeks are really busy with vacationing and stuff like that. So um, I post my videos one week behind. So that's why you're not seeing a garage sale video this Saturday because I didn't get anything last Saturday. But as you're watching this video, I am out garage selling, hopefully picking up some cool stuff to show you next Saturday. Um, I've been really busy. I've been on vacation. So as soon as that slows down, I'll be putting up two to three videos a week again. As I've said before, um, I'll go through some of the videos I'm going to be posting very soon. Uh, one of them is the RDP video, the Retro Duo Portable. I've been playing that thing to death and uh, I'm ready to do a review on that. So stay tuned for that. And uh, I guess these are my non-garage selling video or non-garage selling pickups. So I guess I'll start off with this here. I picked up the uh, Turbo Everdrive from uh, StoneAgeGamer.com. Uh, this is the deluxe edition. I'm going to do a specific video on this, so I'm not going to say a whole lot about it, but I picked this up, uh, like I said, from StoneAgeGamer.com. So um, my first impressions are this is absolutely amazing. Basically, it's a flash cart that lets you play. You download the ROMs to the cart, and it's just like you have every single Turbo Graphics game. So I uh, picked that up. Uh, my buddy Matt sold me... Army Corps of Hell for the Vita. Uh, it's supposed to be a pretty good game, almost kind of like Pikmin-like. Pikmin and kind of Overlord, that, that Overlord game. I hope I didn't show this already. Maybe I did. Um, anyways, Vita game. I think I paid him five bucks for that. Uh, let's see, this just came in the mail about an hour ago. Um, Wii Sports Club. Uh, basically, it's the five best um, games from the Wii Sports series on the Wii. Um, with better graphics, better controls. Uh, I thought about purchasing some of these on the, uh, the eShop, but thank God I didn't. I got this to the Future Shop um, uh, E3 pre-order, so it ended up being $31 after tax, which is, uh, I think, a fair price for that. So I'm pretty excited to start that. I'm hoping I can play some of those games with Andrew. Um... Some non-gaming stuff here. I, uh, my buddy Matt, who sold me to Army Corps of Hell, works at McDonald's, so I uh, was able to get the entire collection of the McDonald's Mario Kart figures. Uh, I'm not going to show them. I'm going to do a separate video on that also, just showing them off. Let me see. There are two, four, six, two, four, six, seven figures, and then the uh, the hat. So I'm not gonna unbo I'm not gonna take over the package right now. I'll uh, make a separate video on that, like I said. So uh, really cool toys. Though. I highly recommend if, if uh, you're in North America. I know they're doing it right now. Uh, go check those out. Um, you can get them in Happy Meals or two dollars a piece. I'll post that video next week. Um, Ninja Turtle pickups. Um, some of you may not know. I haven't done it for a while. I am obsessed with picking up these Ninja Turtle toys for uh, for Andrew. Um, anyways, I picked up the turtle sub, which was, I think, on clearance for, like, uh, just under 20 bucks. And, uh, here it is here. I already opened all these. Just a turtle sub, another vehicle. He's got almost all of them now. Um, and then inside it's got, uh, like, Scuba Donnie or something like that. You can kind of see him in there. Pretty cool. Definitely not the coolest of the vehicles, but happy to have it. Picked up some figures I've been trying to get for a long time. Um, it was a pack of four, and I think I paid 70 bucks ship, which isn't the greatest. But uh, Anyways, Mutagen Man was one of them that I needed. I needed all four that was in this eBay lot. Um, let's see here. This one's Fish Face. If you haven't seen the Nickelodeon Turtles cartoon, go ahead and check it out. I actually, I really enjoy it. I think it's a good series. Um, one of the harder to get figures is April O'Neil. Kind of a younger, more cartoony April than you're used to seeing from the 80s cartoons. That one's super hard to find. I've never seen it in the store. And then my favorite of the bunch, and uh, again, one of the hardest to find, is uh, Casey Jones. And that's the new Casey Jones. Pretty cool. I really enjoy these figures. I think they're well made. They're pretty. They're most on the most for the most part really poseable. Um, the paint jobs are pretty impressive. All in all, for eight fifty or nine dollars or whatever these figures cost each, um, 
well worth it. Great figures. Speaking of figures, I picked up the movie version. Uh, this is Wrath in Disguise. Um, I'm on the fence about picking all these up. Uh, I'm probably just going to stick with the four turtles. I'm not going to go all out and try and get them all. Um, at first glance, I, these it was kind of shocking to see what these guys look like. The, the movie figures, I mean. Um, I'm kind of getting used to it with the movie coming out. Um, I can't say I'm the biggest fan, but they're growing on me. The figures themselves are actually really good. The paint jobs are really good. The poseability is pretty impressive. Um, I'm I'm really happy with these. Uh, I'm actually really happy with the figures themselves. Um, and I probably won't keep that seal, or maybe I will. I don't know. I don't know if Andrew will want to play with this one. But yeah, I picked up that one. I'm gonna probably look for the turtles, and maybe sp I'm not gonna get the the foot soldier. And this is lame. It's just a soldier with guns. They're not even ninjas anymore. That's kind of lame to me. Um, let's see. Uh, Target clearance. Uh, Tales of Graces F. I I I missed this. Um, I didn't grab it. Um, I was waiting for it to get under twenty bucks, and I saw it for twelve. Last one there. Uh, I was extremely happy to find that. PS3. Uh, more Target pickups. Uh, most of their Xbox One games were on for twenty bucks. Um, at least the uh, first first run. Um, Four is the five. Uh, I sold this. I paid forty five for it after tax. Sold it for thirty three, or traded it for thirty three or something like that. And uh, twenty bucks is a sweet spot for me to just have this in my collection and keep it there from now on. Whenever I feel like doing playing some racing games, it'll be there for me. And then FIFA fourteen, I grab twenty bucks. Same thing, I'm not going to grab 15, so this will be my soccer game for the next couple of years. So I, uh, I won't be trading those in. Um, let's see. Okay, here's a cool thing here. I ordered um, some N64 end labels for my cartridges. Um, ordered them from eBay. Uh, basically, it comes in a complete... Uh, it's a complete North American set. They come in these sheets... I'm going to do a separate video on this too, it's coming. I, you have to go through and use a sharp blade, I'll show you how to do it in the video. A sharp blade and a ruler to cut them all out, it's, it takes a while, but the games look fantastic. And um, just today actually I found another place that has vinyl labels, so I'm hoping to get my hands on those to show you guys um, those labels instead. Uh, these are just paper, but the, the place where I found these... Uh, Vinyl labels are probably going to send me a uh, package as um, uh, to review on my channel. So stay tuned for that. And then maybe I'll actually give these ones away. Because the ones that are coming are far better. Um, so, yeah, a couple videos in the works. Um, as always, like, comment, subscribe. I'm, sure, I'm sorry I don't have a better video for you this week. I am um, just trying to get... Uh, get my pickups for the last couple weeks. I'm sure I'm missing a few things. I'm going to kick myself after this. I just, uh, it's been really busy with, um, vacations, kids. We're at the beach. We're at the park. I'm, I'm, I'm rarely home right now. So, um, like I said, stay tuned for some more videos. Um, and, uh, as always like comment, subscribe, feel free to go check out the Facebook page in the, uh, in the about section below. And, uh, thanks for watching guys. Later.